Hello everyone, as you can see from the title, this is not basically Minecraft, this is a whole new kind of video and I think I have some explaining to do, but I don't really want to explain it, so I'm going to let code here explain what it is we are doing in this world. Welcome to Afterlife. Afterlife is a Minecraft hardcore event inspired by Third Life with a twist. Twelve different Minecraft YouTubers will be competing, links to all the channels will be in the video description. Everyone starts off with two lives and a green name tag. On their green life, they will play a normal SMP with a 700 by 700 world border. Once a player loses their first life, their name tag will turn red and their goal will be to kill the other players. If they die on their red life, they will enter spectator mode and their series is over. Last person standing is the winner. This is Afterlife. So yeah, this is actually going to be a pretty good series, I think, and we're going to be doing this once every week. We're going to be posting on Wednesdays. Um, this this is not going to be taking over the basic Minecraft episodes. This shouldn't take me too long to do editing and just play in general, so not to worry. The Pro Drive stuff will be coming out very, very soon. I just got to build it. I have all the materials. Anyway. Let's get right into this video on what happened on the very first day. Alright, I have a quick disclaimer for you all. So originally, as you see in everyone else's videos, everyone started together on Saturday. Sadly, I was not able to attend. However, because no one really died- well, okay, I take that back. One person actually did die, but they died all the way, so it didn't really give me an advantage. But because no one died to the point where they had they were on their red life, I was able to play my time at a different time. So right now, I'm actually playing my four hours on it. Monday slash Tuesday, editing Tuesday, and going to be posting this on Wednesday. So hopefully this video ends up being well. But anyway, that's just a quick disclaimer, and I'm going to be actually being a lone wolf for this. I'm deciding not to do an alliance, alliance just for this season. Also, uh, what are these guys doing? They, uh, they're looking a little sketch. Looking a little sketch. Anyway, let's get right into the video on what happened throughout my time on Afterlife. As in every SMP, you start out by getting some wood, getting some stone, and even getting a little bit of iron. But after that, I was able to even go find the North Village, get some wheat, get some hay, so that I can end up getting bread for a stable food source. And while I was at the village, I may or may not have had a little scare with this iron golem, but luckily, after I regened, I was able to get him in the end. After that, I went to the nearby mesa biome and made myself a little bit of a cave house, just for the time being. Next thing, of course, we gotta do is go mining like any other Minecraft server. We gotta go mining, we gotta get stacked, because if anyone gets onto their red life, I am gonna be kinda screwed if I don't have any armor. So yeah, let's go for a quick mining trip. Oh my, what a successful mining trip. We got so many diamonds, we were able to get full diamond tools and all diamond armors, which has been absolutely fantastic. Of course, we have to get all of this just to make sure that we don't die. If anyone gets on their red life, we wanna be prepared to make sure that they cannot kill us. While very painful, the next thing of course we gotta do is get a bunch of obsidian for not only another portal, but also for an enchantment table. In this episode, we're not gonna go to the nether yet, but we will definitely be going in the next episode. But anyway, yeah, we got some obsidian, but now on to the main part of this episode, which was the villagers. And the villagers is like a whole nother story. I had to get a boat and boat them all the way back to my base because I really didn't want to go in between the bases and I just wanted them all in my actual base. I'm going to end up putting traps around my base, but no one heard that if any of the people on the Afterlife server are listening. You heard nothing. Anyway, um, we actually had to get them all in boats and bring them back. I only brought two back. No, I take that back. I brought three back so that they can all breed, but then one of them turned into a zombie, sadly. I ended up fencing off the villagers, and I was even able to give them a bunch of bread so they can start breeding so I can get a whole bunch of villagers for the future. But during that time, I was also able to go get some cows so I can start a cow farm so that then I can also get some leather for an enchantment table, but that won't end up being until the next episode. 
When I came back from breeding all the cows, I was able to actually catch the villagers breeding for their very first little child. And well, of course, I did have my fair share of creepers. As you can see here, I had one unfortunately blow up my little bit of a storage system, but I was able to gather it all back and put them all in the chest. At some point, I will make it a storage system, but for now, these chests will do. I was running out of time on the, on the server, so I decided that I was just going to start chopping down trees so I can get some emeralds with the Fletchers. But at the very end of my trip, I was able to get about 30, 40 emeralds, and then my time was up. Alrighty, I think you guys are all caught up on what has happened so far, and actually, that's all the time that I can actually use up. Of course, to make it fair for everyone, we decided that we were only going to have four hour spans on Sunday all together, so that we're all on at the same time, of course. But that also comes with the downsides that I don't have, like, all the material that I would normally use for a video. But I will say, we did get a lot done. As you can see, we do have a lot of diamond armor. We actually had more emeralds than I thought I did. A good food source and of almost full diamond tools. And we even got sharpness on our sword, which of course I'll probably end up changing when we get level 30 enchants, which is actually going to go here. That's what this area is for. But that is not the point right now. The point is that this is basically the end of this episode. We did get a lot done, like I said, with a lot of materials, iron, redstone, diamonds even, lapis, gold. And we were even able to set up this villager area, which I, I think the server might always be going because there was definitely more villagers here now. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We have done a lot, of course. And yeah, I don't know that there's much more to say. Oh, I do know what else we can say. We can say that thank you all so much to the other Afterlife members. Their links will all be down in the description, as well as the community Discord, which is always available for everyone. And not only that, but we I also have my community Discord. Like, I mean, it's there. You should you guys should join it. <laughs> but anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope to see you all next week on episode two of Afterlife. But until then. I'll see you guys next time. Anyway, anyway, I am rambling on. That is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time on episode two of Afterlife.